I'm at a loss of words. What do you write on the morning after you arrive home and a section of your house was unexpectedly flooded? I mean, this experience isn't new. I mean, homes all over the world are brutally attacked by floods every day. It's in the headlines. But when it happens to you, the feelings are more about questions than answers. So much water. I mean, these writing pages feel so damp this morning. It's the humidity left behind. It's in the air. I mean, we've got the fans blowing. The goal is to dry everything up. (sighs) Sure, you'd like to be hurt and angry, but when you have no control of what fate has delivered, the only option is to locate peace. Nothing is a problem until you make it a problem. My goal is to mastermind a plan that develops solutions. I mean, seriously, let's, let's be honest here. No day passes without change and challenge. How you react is the next sentence in the paragraph. Hey, it's Errol. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I write about the realisms of where we presently stand. You can't be anywhere except here. This is The Daily Mess. I, I'm pretty much like you. We would all like to have a day where you just do absolutely nothing at all, only to realize such a moment would actually put a dent in your creative process. No passerby will ever be blessed with a speaker that showcases the multiple vocal tones that are inside your head and heart. It is actively moving around your creative spirit. Then, then, here it is. The art is put on display, which is then interpreted by those who stop by to just visualize it. The accent on what's being delivered carries the weight of little to no light. But in the end, those that receive it, do they care about the access into the human heart? It's art. It's a moment of expression. It's here without notice. It can also be gone without notice. So then why did it even appear, right? The development of setting creativity free is physically a discipline. But somewhere along the line, you got to picture yourself as being a fisherman out on a boat, seeking to latch onto something that's going to exist tomorrow. And if today is not that day, then tomorrow you could be hungry. That to me is the art of creativity and why you've got to learn how to tap into it and tap out of it. But you don't want to tap out of it too much because that moment where you need to get into it, it's not going to be there because you turned your back on your creativity. The art is a discipline. It's showing up every day. In fact, I just had a phone call uh, from a very good friend who's started a podcast and his numbers aren't looking good. And he goes, well, w- w- what am I doing wrong? I said, you know, it's, it's the old statement, you know, if you build it, they'll come. But if you only build it at a certain time, they'll come at a certain time. They may finally discover your podcast five years from now. See, I've been doing the podcasting thing for 12 years and, and things really started to move maybe about four or five years into the process. But a lot of people want to have that "Mm," right now. They want to have that right now. And that's not the art of the discipline. The discipline is showing up, constructing, rebuilding, sitting there and planting new things, replenishing the soil, having new ideas and having the courage to move in whatever direction you're doing. You could be a chef. You could be a teacher. You could be a banker. Whatever your art is, it's a discipline. Are you disciplining your creative self? I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.